Good evening. I'm Jonathan McGovern. Welcome into WVUA 23 Sports. Well, the Alabama Crimson Tide came up short yesterday in Bryant Denny Stadium. The LSU Tigers broke their eight-game losing streak with a 46-41 win over the Tide. Yesterday's win also marked their fourth top ten win this season. What a historical matchup as it was a number one beat number two, even though Alabama was favored by six and half points. Today, with the new 12 rankings, LSU is atop the Associated Press Top 25 and Amway Coaches poll. Alabama drops to number four on both polls as they head into another SEC matchup this weekend on the road at Mississippi State. It was back and forth affair between quarterback Tua Tagovailoa starting on quarterback with a heavily wrapped ankle. He went 21 of 40 yards for 418 yards and four touchdowns. Running back Najee Harris led the offense with a career best 146 rushing yards and two scores. He also tallied 44 receiving yards and one touchdown reception. On defense, Xavier McKinney tied his career high 13, two tackles and a sack for a forced fumble and a crucial block point. The storyline all afternoon, though, was how can LSU quarterback John Bro, or Joe Bro, was even who scrambled, was able to keep a play alive. LSU led the whole game, but Alabama was able to come back from a 20-point halftime deficit. Alabama head coach Nick Saban says this loss was a learning experience. Uh, at least we gave ourselves a chance to win in terms of the way we fought back in the game, and I'm really proud of our players for that. So, you know, as an organization, you know, starting with me and everybody else, you know, we, we need to learn from this, do a better job, uh, give our players a better chance to be successful, and our players got to take advantage of that by going out there and executing and making, you know, the kind of choices and decisions that's going to help them be the best players that they can be. And I think there's a lot to be learned from that, you know, in this game. The 13th-ranked Auburn Tigers are focused on Georgia Bulldogs this weekend. Saturday in Jordan-Hare Stadium, the Tigers host number 5 Georgia at 2.30 p.m. The game will be televised by CBS. Currently, the Bulldogs are in first in the SEC East with only one loss to South Carolina. Auburn third in the SEC West and 7-2 and with losses from Florida and LSU. The bets are in and Georgia opened up as a 2.5 point favorite over the Tigers. Alabama's men's basketball is looking to bounce back from their season and home opener 81-80 loss against Penn last weekend. Today, they opened up their practice to the media before suiting up for their second game of the season tomorrow night. Nate Oates debuted as a head coach with a close nail-biting finish last week. Tomorrow, he's looking to rewrite last week's storyline, hosting Florida Atlantic for their second game of the season. Tomorrow's match will tip off at 7 p.m. at Coleman Coliseum. Last week's sophomore, Keir Lewis, had a career best performance, but he isn't the only player fans are excited about. Everyone is waiting to see the transfer sophomore, Jeffing Quirley, who was denied immediate eligibility. Alabama appealed that decision, and Oates says that they will have an answer tomorrow afternoon if Quirley is available to play in tomorrow's contest. He, need, he needed a fresh start in a bad way. We gave it to him. I think he's done everything he's asked since he's been here. So hopefully when the committee that listens to the teleconference call, you know, here's the totality of the story that they can show some sympathy and com compassion and agree with our attorneys and, you know, compliance people here that he deserves a chance to play right away this year. So we're hoping we get a favorable answer tomorrow. Alabama Volleyball was back in Foss Auditorium this afternoon for a match against the Tennessee Volunteers. On Friday, they lost to Missouri in five sets. Alabama Volleyball took on Tennessee and Foster Auditorium this afternoon. With the Volunteers already had two sets to none, they seemed to dominate the third match, especially with this two-hand shove from Alyssa Andrio. But Alabama would not give up. With a good dig to keep the play alive, Tennessee sends a tip, and Alabama utilizes the easy play with a great spike across the court that goes unanswered by tied junior Doris Carter. However, the lead was just too much for Alabama to recover from, and at match point, Alabama digs a tip Tennessee, but sends a free ball that volunteers use to set up Addison Rowe with a facial to end the match. Alabama falls to Tennessee at home 3-0. I'm Jonathan McGovern. Thanks for watching Sports on WVUA 23.